Have you ever watched a Starship launch and noticed something very unusual happening right under it? As soon as the 33 Raptor engines ignite, the exhaust plume doesn't just shoot straight downward like a normal flame. It bends, it ripples, it twists, it pulses, and sometimes it looks like it's wobbling sideways. It almost feels like the flame has a mind of its own. A few viewers think it looks unstable. Others think something must be wrong with the engines. But the truth is completely the opposite. That wobbling plume is one of the clearest signs that Starship is doing exactly what it is designed to do. And today, you and I are going deep into the hidden physics behind that motion. Physics so intense and so extreme that very few rockets on Earth have ever experienced anything like it. What's happening under Starship is not random. It is not turbulence. It is not a flaw. The wobble you see is the result of forces interacting at a scale and intensity humanity rarely deals with. And once you understand what these forces are and how they work together, you'll watch the next Starship launch with a completely new perspective. Stay with me until the end because the explanation keeps building on itself, and the final payoff is a complete understanding that even many Rocket fans don't have. Let's start at the exact moment of ignition. At T0, all 33 Raptor engines come alive together. Each one produces roughly 230 tons of thrust at sea level, and in total, the booster unleashes more than 7,600 tons. That's about 16.7 million pounds of force, more than any rocket ever flown before. But down at the nozzle exit, something incredible happens in the first milliseconds after ignition. The exhaust coming out of a Raptor engine is not just hot, it's supersonic, moving faster than the speed of sound almost instantly. This exhaust is also expanding rapidly. When hot gases leave the nozzle at that speed and pressure, they don't stay smooth. Instead, they form shock waves that appear as bright, glowing rings inside the flame called Mach diamonds. Now imagine 33 engines producing 33 sets of Mach diamonds at once, all forming, collapsing, and reforming in fractions of a second. That alone creates complex interactions, because each shockwave pushes against the shockwaves of the engines near it. The engines in the middle are firing so close together that their exhaust streams merge and form larger, more violent shock structures. The outer engine's plumes collide with expanding air and bounce inward, Every engine affects every other engine. No rocket engine on Earth has ever had to share such tight space with so many other supersonic plumes. This is why the plume looks like it's alive. It's literally a huge forest of shockwaves fighting for stable geometry. But the layout of Starship's engines plays a major role in this. In the center of the booster, 20 engines are packed extremely tightly. There's barely any space between their nozzles. Around them, 13 more engines form a ring. In older rockets like the Saturn V, the nozzles were spaced far apart. On the Falcon 9, there are only 9 engines and plenty of room for the exhaust to expand naturally. But Starship pushes this to the absolute limit. The closeness of the engines causes overlapping expansion zones. When two supersonic jets collide, they create shear layers and pressure pockets that make the exhaust bend or ripple. Think of two high-pressure water jets pointed toward each other. Where they meet, water splashes unpredictably. Now change that water to gas, heat it to thousands of degrees, accelerate it to Mach 3, multiply it by 33, and imagine all that happening in a confined space. That is what creates the wobble. Even small shifts inside one engine's chamber can affect the neighboring plumes. These micro-interactions are visible because methane's exhaust is clear, unlike kerosene rockets that produce thick smoke. And then comes one of the biggest contributors, ground effect. Most people don't know this, but the plume doesn't just shoot downward and disappear. The launch pad acts like a giant pressure mirror. When the exhaust hits the ground, the steel plates, the reinforced concrete, and the flame diverter, it rebounds. The reflected pressure waves push back into the plume, they bend the exhaust upward, they roll it sideways, they create huge donut-shaped vortex rings that swirl under the engines. During early Starship flights, you can clearly see shock rings forming and rotating outward from the center. These rings then get disrupted by other pressure waves and collapse back inward, creating motion that looks like the entire flame is writhing. 
That wobble is one large gas body reacting to its own reflections. The ground effect is so powerful at Starship's thrust level that even the slightest uneven reflection can make one side of the plume bend more than the other. This has nothing to do with the engine's malfunctioning, it is pure physics. Now add methane to the equation. Starship burns cryogenic methane instead of kerosene. Methane burns much cleaner, meaning the flame is more transparent. It also expands more rapidly because methane molecules are lighter than kerosene exhaust molecules. This rapid expansion exaggerates every slight pressure change. It makes shock diamonds brighter and larger. It makes the plume stretch and bend more dramatically. Since methane's combustion produces fewer soot particles, the plume has less fog, which means we can see even tiny fluctuations. Falcon 9's kerosene plume has a stable, smoky look. Starship's methane plume shows every detail, and that includes wobbling caused by pressure variations. Now let's talk about gimbling. Starship balances itself during liftoff using There's engine gimbling. Small directional adjustments made by swiveling check. the engines. 13 outer engines can gimbal a few degrees. Even a one degree movement changes the direction of thousands of tons of force. So if wind hits the rocket from one side, the engines compensate instantly. If the rocket needs to tilt slightly to follow its ascent path, the engines adjust. These adjustments happen dozens of times per second. When the engines gimbal, the direction of the exhaust changes. Even slight gimbal changes bend the plume noticeably. This creates controlled wobble, intentional redirection caused by Starship steering itself. Some people see the plume tilt and think the booster is off course, but in reality, that bend is Starship balancing perfectly. The computer constantly makes microcorrections to keep the rocket stable. So the wobbling you see is part of its navigation system at work, keeping the rocket safe. As Starship leaves the pad and climbs through the lower atmosphere, a new phenomenon appears. Air pressure decreases. At sea level, thick air compresses the plume, keeping it tight. But higher up, the exhaust expands dramatically because there's less air pushing back. Shock diamonds stretch out. The plume becomes whiter and softer looking. At around 20 kilometers altitude, the plume can expand to the width of a small building. The wobble becomes more gentle but larger in scale, like slow waves moving through a lake of flame. Overexpansion also reduces shock stability, so the plume begins to flow in wider arcs. This makes the wobble even more dramatic. Now we reach one of the most fascinating effects turbo pump vibrations. Every Raptor engine has two turbo pumps, one for methane, one for oxygen. These pumps spin at around 30,000 revolutions per minute. They create pressure pulses inside the engine which travel down into the nozzle. Normally one engine's pump oscillations don't matter much, but with 33 engines all generating oscillations at slightly different frequencies, a massive interference pattern forms. When two frequencies match briefly, the plume flashes or brightens momentarily. When they clash, the plume distorts in sharp bends. Sometimes you see rhythmic pulses running down the flame. That's the turbo pumps creating harmonics. It is almost like watching a musical instrument play, except the instrument is 122 meters tall and the sound is being made by pressure waves instead of notes. The plume is the visual representation of those oscillations. You could say the wobble is Starship's heartbeat revealed in flame. But here's the best part. None of this wobbling is unsafe. Engineers expect it. They simulate it. They measure it during static fire tests. They know exactly how the plume should behave. In fact, a perfectly still plume would be a warning sign. It would indicate poor expansion or unstable combustion. A healthy Starship plume must wobble because it is reacting to physics at full power. The wobble shows that the engines are expanding properly, the shock cells are forming correctly, and the rocket is steering smoothly. That flame is full of information about how well the rocket is performing. Now let's recap the forces that create the wobble. You've learned that 33 engines firing at once create a jungle of shockwaves competing to stabilize. You've learned that methane expands so fast and burns so cleanly that it reveals every tiny fluctuation. 
you've learned that ground reflections bend the plume and form vortex rings. You've learned that gimbling causes intentional shifts as the rocket balances itself. You've learned that altitude changes reshape the plume entirely. And you've learned that turbo pump harmonics give the flame a rhythmic pulse. What looked like a chaotic wobble is actually an organized dance of physics, supersonic gas dynamics, pressure reflections, methane chemistry, steering corrections, and engine harmonics all layered together. This is why Starship's plume looks so alive. You're not just seeing fire, you're seeing pressure waves colliding, merging, splitting, and reforming hundreds of times per second. Most people watch a rocket and see a big flame, but now you see the real story. You see shock structures, you see expansion waves, you see alignment patterns, you see vibrations, you see the skill of the guidance system, you see the chemical signature of methane, you see evidence of engineering working exactly the way it should. The next time you watch a Starship launch, the wobble won't look confusing anymore. It will look beautiful, a visual symphony created by the most advanced rocket engines ever built. If this deep dive expanded your understanding and made you appreciate Starship even more, make sure to subscribe to Rocketry for more spaceflight explanations like this. And follow us on Facebook for daily updates and behind the scenes coverage of everything happening in the world of Rocketry. Your support keeps this journey going and trust me, the future of Starship is only getting more exciting.